Hi, my name is Lucy. I will be your waitress for today. Are you ready to order? Hey, Clonebot Zach here, and I'm feeling pretty sad for poor Lucy. Doesn't she realize that service with a smile means extra tips? So let's help her out here by going into animation, facial animation, and we're going to use Crazy Talk to help us create a customized script, and then we're going to import it into iClone 3 and, the he and help Lucy make bigger tips. Alright, first of all, let's get started by opening up Crazy Talk 5. Going into script, we're going to then open up a dialogue, which I already have saved as a WAV file. And then using key editor, we're going to choose certain locations along the timeline to add in facial animation. So using the key editor, we can choose the exact location along the timeline of the script or the dialogue where actress will smile, frown, or whatever facial animation we desire. So we can choose the position on the face and then drag inside the key editor to make her smile. I also want to add in a wink. iClone 3 already has facial animation for winking, but I want to have more direct control over when and how my actress winks. That is why I am using Crazy Talk 5. So here I'm going to choose, whoops, not the eyeball, choose the eyelid, and I'm going to drag it down to make her wink. But notice I also dragged down the face on this side, her left, or excuse me, her right side of her face. So let's adjust this back, deselect the eyebrow, and have her still smile while she's winking. Alright, so let's have her recover from the wink, just about here on the timeline. And let's have her drag up a little bit and make her smile a little. Okay, here at the end of the dialogue, I want to have to add a little bit more spice. So I'll have her, i have Lucy raise her eyebrows in a comical gesture. So here I have her eyebrows up and I have her smiling. And now we need to adjust the face a little and then add in another spot here on the, on the add another keyframe here. And we're gonna adjust the eyebrows again. So let's deselect the face here. Select the eyebrows and drag up, all right? So again, this is just my method. There is no correct way. Different painters use the paintbrushes differently. So whatever method you choose or feel more comfortable with using Crazy Talk, then that is the best method. Crazy Talk 5 is a tool, a tool that you can use in many different manners to bring a little bit more life and emotion to your character's dialogue. All right, so let's adjust this a little bit more, play it back to make sure. All right, that, that looks about right. I need to do a little bit more editing, but I want to first show you how we can add it in, or excuse me, import it into iPhone 3. So. Let's see here, I need to first close the key editor so you can see. And then under custom, I'm going to add it into my custom files. Then you can name it whatever you choose. I'll just choose it Lucy. And let's add it into iClone 3. So first of all, let's open up the project again. There we go. Alright, it's open. Then let's move along the timeline. I guess it was right about in here, somewhere in here. Let me look for it. Okay, here's where Lucy shows up. So I guess this is about the... Yeah, it should be about this point in the timeline where she starts to talk. Current frame is five, or excuse me, 577, so let's open up Violet, which is playing as, as Lucy in this project. Let's scroll down, let me adjust the timeline so you can see it better. Let's scroll down to where the point is. Ah, here it is at 620. So let's delete this WAV file. Delete out my old one. There we go. And then let's open up the custom. Here, let me move the timeline again. Open up our custom file, find the one that we want, which is Lucy. Make sure the one that we created in Crazy Talk, so let's make sure that we have it in the right spot on the timeline again. 620, all right, so let's double click on Lucy 2, add in the WAV file, and now let's watch what happens in the project. Here we go. My name is Lucy. I will be your waitress for today. Are you ready to order? Why do you keep telling everyone I'm an idiot? Sorry, I didn't know it's supposed to be a secret. Alright, I showed you how to edit the keys. Now I want to show you how to use puppeteering to add facial animation in iClone 3 using Crazy Talk 5. Okay, so pressing this button, we can choose to have the head tilt around, and by pressing the space bar, we start the recording, and we can move our mouse around inside Crazy Talk 5, and his head will move as well. But let's say, for instance, I didn't like that motion clip, I can easily press the undo button and re-record and re it. Hmm, moving the mouse, that looks about right, okay. Alright, that looked good. So now let's add motion on top of that other motion clip, and I want him to open his mouth up as if he's gaping in astonishment at what the woman just said to him. So from this point in the motion clip, I'll press spacebar, 
and oh man, wait, no, that's too much. I don't want his mouth to open that big, so let's press the undo button again. All right, and notice that only the facial animation erased, but the actual head tilting that I recorded earlier remains. So let's try that again by, but first make this less intense, make it a little bit more milder, and press spacebar. Open, uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now, earlier I saved what his original face looked like in the key editor, so I'm gonna paste that back in to bring his face back to normal. And then I am going to deselect his chin and select his eyes, and now we're gonna record his eyes rolling. That looks pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have his head tilt, his mouth opening in astonishment, and his eyes rolling, we can now save this into custom and add it in. Here we are back in iClone 3, open up the timeline and make sure we have Trey selected. What I sometimes do is I open up both characters, that way I can keep up with who I'm actually editing. So here I have Trey, I'm going to delete out his old line, and then I'm going to import the new one. So let's get this out of the way, and here it is, silent upset, and let's see how that looks. Mm, the facial animation is not bad, but I don't like his body animation, so I'm going to edit out the body animation and let's watch the final product. Why do you keep telling everyone I'm eating? Sorry, I didn't know it's supposed to be a secret. 